Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Well, today we're gonna to talk again about Jesus and this is a different story. Crowds and crowds of people had always followed Jesus. On some days he was so busy teaching and healing that he had a hard time to eat. Jesus loved the people though. Sometimes he needed rest though, he got really tired. One day he suggested, let's get away from the crowds for a while and rest. Even his followers didn't get a lot of rest because they were always busy. People always wanted to be around them for miracles and healings and just to hear Jesus speak because he was, his words were so special. Well, the disciples thankfully agreed and they all climbed into Peter's boat and set off across the lake. But as they drew nearer to the land, they saw that the quiet spot they had chosen was thousands of people. It was thronged with people. They had seen the boat leave and had raced around the shore, ar arriving ahead of Jesus and his disciples. So they knew they saw the boat leave from one side of the lake and they raced to the other side of the lake to get there before Jesus and his disciples so they didn't get to rest. Well, the, the Bible says that Jesus had compassion for the people. Do you know what that means, boys and girls? That means that he cared for the people's needs and their feelings. They wanted so much to hear more about God and his love. Well, Jesus began to talk to the people. I'm gonna turn you to the board so you can see. So Jesus began to talk to the people and he said such beautiful things in such a kind and gentle way that the people loved every word. Hour after hour slipped by and still he talked and still the people listened. They were so interested that they forgot all about eating. Finally, the disciples came to Jesus and said, the people have been here a very long time they must be hungry, Jesus. Tell them to go away to the nearby villages and buy themselves some food. There's nothing to eat here, and it's really getting late. Jesus said to his disciples, give them something to eat. He knew they had rushed there so quickly that most of them had forgotten to bring any food. And it was a long walk to the marketplace, and the children were tired. Philip one of the disciples asked, Where can we buy enough food for so many people, Jesus? Or Jesus asked, How much food do we have? Well, there's a lad, there's a little boy here. And he just showed up, this little boy, and he just happened to bring his lunch with him that day. I guess when everybody started running, he had his lunch in hand, so he bought his lunch with him. And he offered you his lunch, but it's only two little fish and five small bread, bread rolls. So what good is that? Two fish and five, like biscuits, bread rolls. That's not a whole lot to feed thousands of people, is it? It's, it was probably about 2,000 people here this day. That's, a, that's not a lot of food for 2,000 people, is it? Well, let's see what happens. Well, Jesus said, he told his disciples, separate the people into groups. And as the disciples hurried off to organize everyone, Jesus turned to the boy who was waiting shyly. Thank you, he said with a smile as he took the packed lunch from the young boy. So Jesus took this lunch from the young boy and he thanked him for it.
The disciples wondered what Jesus was going to do next. He looked up to heaven and he asked his father to bless those five little loaves of bread and two small fish and God did. So Jesus broke the bread and fish into pieces and his disciples gave the food to the people. God did something wonderful. Everyone had enough food. Boys and girls, those two fish and five little loaves of little like rolls. You've had a dinner roll before. Look at all the food it made. God did something wonderful. And there was, oh, I was wrong. Miss Pam said 2,000. There were over 5,000 people who ate, boys and girls. Jesus told the disciples to gather up the food that was left. And you know what, boys and girls? They filled up 12 baskets full of food. So not only did they have enough food to feed everybody, they had 12 basketfuls left over. How awesome is that? Two fish, five biscuits, 5,000 people. And Jesus said, now take up the leftovers, 12 basketfuls. Do you see those baskets on the board? 12 basketfuls. Not just a little bitty skimpy amount, but basketfuls. Mm. That's what God does. When he does miracles, he goes beyond what we can imagine or ask. Well, Jesus told them to gather those baskets of food up on that day. The disciples learned a lesson. They learned to really care about other people. They had been thinking more about themselves than the poor hungry people. But Jesus showed the disciples that when they gave to others in need, that God would give to them. So you sometimes might think that God wants you to do something for somebody else, but in doing that, God's going to bless you even more so. Every time he does that. That's why it's so important to let God use us to, to do unto others. You know, the golden rule, Miss Pam's mentioned it before, but we'll probably talk it about talk about it again. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And what God does is he always blesses you. Most of the time, more so because of what you did. That's how God's law works. So you can't outgive God, boys and girls. Whatever you give, God's going to come back and give you an abundance. And that's what I want you to learn from this lesson. Is even though it was just two small fish and five little biscuits, God fed 5,000 people. And not only did he feed 5,000 people, they were full and they had leftovers, 12 basketfuls. When you give to others, God will give back to you. You can take that to the bank, as they say. We can never, ever outgive God, boys and girls. So just remember that from this lesson today, okay? All right, let's have a word of prayer and I will let you go. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this lesson about giving. That, Lord, no matter how small the gift, that you take that gift and you magnify it. But Father, that you always bring glory and honor to your name. And Lord, help us to remember that, that even if it's just a little thing we can do, that Father, you can take that gift and use it mightily, no matter what it is. Or if it's just a few pennies we offer in an offering plate, you can use that mightily, Lord. Because, Lord, you are the author of all things. 
You created all things. And you promise us, Lord, that for those that give, it shall be given back unto you. And so, Lord, we just thank you for this lesson, what you taught us, what you're teaching us. Help us not to ever feel like we shouldn't be able to give, no matter how small the offering. Thank you for each boy and girl that's listening and adult. And Lord, just help them to remember to give, to give from their heart, not for themselves, but Father, for you, God, because of our love for you and our heart for God. And we do love you, God, and we pray this through your son, Jesus, his name, and because he showed us how to do that. He showed us how to live. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, that's today's story. I hope you enjoyed that. Another good story about Jesus. We've got many more. Okay, you go out and have a great day. Remember, Miss Pam loves you with all her heart, but God, he loves you so, so much. Now you show him how much you love him by giving whatever God tells you to back to him, okay? All right, have a great day. I'll see you next time.